It is unfortunate how underrated this character remains in the DC universe, but hardcore enthusiasts of the genre are not oblivious of Hawkgirl's magnificent persona. For a superhero, Hawkgirl is the literal embodiment of the complete package of mental strength, fighting skill, and making the right decisions when it counts. She may not always get the recognition she deserves, but her varied backstory definitely adds an extra layer of intrigue. While her history may sometimes feel like a tangled web, it is a challenge surely worth exploring. From being an Egyptian cursed to reincarnate every time she found true love, to an alien police officer from Thanagar undercover on a mission to take over Earth, and even a combination of the two, Hawkgirl's origins have undergone remarkable transformations throughout the ages of comics. But in the series of these muddled and low-key butchered origin stories, her anatomical intricacies have somehow managed to remain constant, with a few tweaks of advancement here and there. In this video, we will delve deep into the distinctive anatomical prowess of Hawkgirl and truly decipher what makes her one of the strongest beings in the DC universe. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Who is Hawkgirl? What does she look like? Time and time again, DC has reinvigorated Hawkgirl's character to fit her as a supporting character in the Hawkman comics, until the Silver Age of Comics completely reshaped her character design into a newer version of a more iconic and independent Hawkgirl. As one of the founding members of the Justice League, Shaira Hole, aka Hawkgirl, is not devoid of a complex backstory. Originally from planet Thanagar, Shaira served in the Thanagarian military as a lieutenant and S espionage instructor, where she was engaged to be married to Katar Hole. When sent to Earth to determine the planet's weak points, as a scout in preparation for a potential invasion by the Gordanians, Thanagar's enemies, she adopted the identity of Hawk Girl and established herself on the Earth with a foolproof cover story of being accidentally teleported to the planet while tracking criminals. She embodied a fiery and aggressive nature, often associated with her character, but always fought on the good side, ultimately finding her place among Earth heroes. As Hawkgirl, Shaira wore a hawk-inspired black mask that always covered half of her face. Her costumes were a mix of yellow, red, and black, and she carried her mace as her prime weapon of choice. With red hair, piercing green eyes, and magnificent wings attached to her back, Hawkgirl is the epitome of magnificence in the superhero roster of the DC Universe. Eventually, Hawkgirl joined forces with other superheroes, including Superman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Batman, Green Lantern, and the Martian Manhunter to form the Justice League. She played a crucial role in repelling various threats, including the Imperium invasion, and Darkseid's attempt to remake the universe, alongside having numerous adventures in alternate dimensions where she fought against supernatural beings and confronted her connection to Thanagar and its gods. However, during the Thanagarian invasion, it was revealed that Shaira had been secretly gathering information about Earth and the Justice League to aid the Thanagarians, causing a rift with her teammates, especially her romantic interest, Jon Stewart, aka Green Lantern. Unfortunately, Shaira chose her obligation to Thanagar over her loyalty to the Justice League and helped the Thanagarians capture her teammates. But soon after she discovered that in reality, Thanagarians intended to use Earth as a weapon against Gordanians by creating a destructive device called the Hyperspace Bypass Generator. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Hawkgirl stole the information and handed it to Bruce Wayne in order to make amends. In the end, Shaira helped destroy the Bypass Generator and save Earth, but her betrayal and subsequent actions led to a division within the Justice League. She separated from the team for a brief period, owing to the League's aversion towards her betrayal, but she was ultimately welcomed back into the League after she obliterated Solomon Grundy with her mace, ending the zombie villain for good. She resumed her position with the League's Founders Council, but never donned back her costume, preferring to go by Shaira instead of Hawk Girl. Throughout her journey, Shaira went through personal growth and redemption, proving her dedication to Earth and her friends. Despite the initial betrayal, trail and gradually repaired her damaged reputation as a hero through many prominent conquests with the Justice League. 
Are hawk girl's wings attached to her body? So, as magnificent and lifelike hawk girl's wings typically look, in reality they are depicted as artificial wings attached to a harness devised from a special metal known as the nth metal, which allows her wings in aiding her to fly, even if they aren't a part of her actual physiology. The nth metal harness provides her with the ability to control her flight and maneuverability. However, in some animated adaptations, such as the Justice League animated series, Shiera Hole's wings were depicted as organic and a part of her actual physiology, protruding from her shoulder blades like every modern Thanagarian. Furthermore, other shows like Arrow, The Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow portrayed Hawkgirl's wings to be a part of her body with the ability to retract or extend them as needed. Although her wing power has not really been associated with any form of magic, Mystical Influx, or the famous Inth Metal, is Hawk Girl immune to magic? Hawk Girl's resistance to magic is a significant factor in her ability to withstand and counter magical attacks. The famous Nth Metal, which is also incorporated into her mace, enhances her defense against any spells and mystical forces, granting her a notable advantage when facing opponents who rely on magic, as witnessed in her confrontation with Dr. Fate, a powerful magician, in the Justice League animated series where Hawk Girl remained unaffected by his offensive maneuvers. By wielding and accurately throwing her mace in order to use it creatively as a shield and a makeshift defibrillator unit. This is in contrast to other powerful members of the Justice League, such as Superman and Martian Manhunter, who have been more or less vulnerable to magic-based attacks. In these encounters, Hawkgirl's nth metal-infused mace proved to be instrumental in empowering her against magical assaults and maintaining her undefeated record against such threats. While she may not be completely immune to her magic, her ability to withstand and counteract spells sets her apart and establishes her as a powerful opponent against spellcasting adversaries. How Nth Metal Enhances Hawk Girl's Powers I think we've successfully established by now that Hawk Girl's powers and abilities are greatly enhanced by the alien Nth Metal, which provides her with a host of superhuman gifts, owing to its mystical properties. Irrespective of its recipient, even a minuscule amount of the Nth Metal can boost a commoner with superhuman enhancements. Firstly, the Nth Metal enables Hawk Girl to achieve flight. Although her large wings play a supportive role in providing lift, direction, and speed, even a meager amount of the nth metal grants hawk girl tremendous super strength allowing her to deliver devastating blows and engage in intense physical combat alongside providing a protective layer that helps her withstand attacks and endure in battle furthermore the nth metal boosts her ability to recover from injuries at an accelerated speed enabling her to continue fighting even when faced with a significant harm aside from granting her increased sight and the ability to perceive details with greater clarity apart from these fantastic physical physical enhancements, Hawk Girl's signature weapon, the spiked mace made of nth metal, can generate electric currents, allowing her to deliver powerful shocks to her opponents. And as mentioned before, this mace also plays a pivotal role in deflecting and detecting magical energies. To narrow it down, it's safe to say that the nth metal is the main fuel behind a raging Hawk Girl being a marvelous force of nature against a world ridden with evil guys. Does Hawk Girl have a regenerative healing factor? Hawk Girl's association with the Nth Metal is deep-seated with her Thanagarian history because every individual from Thanagar has the ability to heal at an accelerated rate. But this ability is not naturally inherent to their biology. In fact, the warlike nature of the Thanagarians ensures that they often wield weapons made only from the Nth Metal, granting them access to accelerated healing in dire situations. Throughout the various incarnations and retellings of Hawk man and hawk girl stories since the 1940s in the DC universe, both their connection to the nth metal remains a constant, serving as a catalyst for the regenerative healing factor and other integral abilities. Even in their endless cycle of death and resurrection, which was triggered by the murder of the original Hawkman with an nth metal dagger, they are only able to return to life due to the influence of the nth metal. Hawk Girl has a high level of tactical thinking and can communicate with winged creatures. Hawk Girl possesses exceptional communication skills and tactical thinking abilities. A common question has always lingered about Hawk Girl's capacity to naturally fit in after her arrival on Earth. Well, these Thanagarians were highly equipped and came up with an advanced device known as Absorbuscon, which allowed Hawk Girl to acquire proficiency in various human languages, enabling her to effectively communicate with people who do not 
speak her native tongue. Notably, Hawkgirl could also communicate with birds, granting her extensive knowledge of her surroundings and the ability to gather information from distant locations. In her role as an ambassador of Thanagar, Hawkgirl employed her strategic prowess and persuasion to gain the trust of humans, despite the presence of powerful members in the Justice League, such as the mind readers like Martian Manhunter and technical geniuses like Batman. Her charade successfully caught Earth off guard, allowing the Thanagarians to carry out their plans and seize control of the planet. Although initially perceived as lacking superhuman powers compared to her teammates, Hawkgirl's value to the team grew over time, especially with her nth metal mace being a distinguished weapon capable of conducting electricity and providing protection against magical attacks, which is a significant advantage considering Superman's immense vulnerability to magic. She even showcased exceptional hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, defeating multiple Green Lanterns in combat and establishing herself as one of the team's most lethal fighters. Furthermore, Hawkgirl's strategic acumen was highlighted when it was revealed that she consistently outsmarted Batman in chess, solidifying her reputation as the team's top tactical thinker. Her ability to assess situations and devise effective plans surpassed even the renowned Dark Knight himself, overall making her a valuable asset to the Justice League. Can she reproduce? In the expansive DC Comics universe, many fans may be unaware that the Golden Age Hawkgirl and Hawkman, Shira and Carter Hall, had a son who played a significant role in his own right, Hector Hall despite his unique parentage, forged his own path and carried a three distinct titles throughout his life. His journey took somewhat of a fatal turn and was filled with peculiar twists and turns, showcasing his individuality separate from his famous lineage. One of Hector's notable accomplishments was joining Infinity Inc., a team of young heroes composed of the offspring of Justice Society heroes. Using the mystical Nth Metal that granted his parents their powers, Hector fashioned a complete suit and adopted the moniker Silver over Scarab. However, his life took a tragic route when he was possessed by Hathset and ultimately met his demise at the hands of his former teammates. Rather than passing into the afterlife, Hector found himself in the realm of the Sandman, where he temporarily assumed the title role. His time as the Sandman came to an end when Morpheus, the true Sandman, returned and sent Hector back to the realm of the dead. Later on, when the heroes Hawk and Dove from the Champions of Order and Chaos had a child, Hector returned in the child's place utilizing the inherent mystical balance within the child's form to become the new Dr. Fate. The interconnectedness of these events really enforces the idea of a small world, but to narrow it down, it's safe to say that Hawkgirl can procreate more of her kind. Is Hawkgirl Immortal? The reincarnation curse on Hawkgirl makes her an immortal warrior who has been reborn into countless lives. The curse ensures that she continues to be reincarnated throughout the ages, allowing her to retain the memories and skills from her past lives. While the new age of comics has always reinvigorated her character time and again, her reincarnation curse entwines her soul to Hawkman, binding them to share a fate together forever in the mortal world. Another instance is the Nth Metal, which prevents her death owing to the alien metal's massive regenerative abilities. This unique character quirk adds depth to her backstory and influences her actions as she navigates through different timelines and encounters various challenges. It's worth noting that the concept of immortality in the DC Universe can vary across different storylines and interpretations, but Hawkgirl's immortality through reincarnation has always remained a defining aspect of her character. What is the true extent of her powers? We have already discussed Hawkgirl's array of unique powers owing to her association with the Nth Metal, an alien substance from Thanagar. Additionally, this alien metal is also neuro-responsive, responding to her thoughts and granting her various electromagnetic and gravitational properties. In terms of combat skills, Hawkgirl is highly proficient in hand-to-hand -hand combat, drawing upon the knowledge and experience of multiple lifetimes. She's also skilled in using weapons such as spears, maces, warhammers, axes, swords, and shields. In one of her iterations, her past as the gunfighter named Cinnamon also endowed her with the sharp shooting skills. While her wings always give her the added benefit, Hawkgirl's military background has honed her tactical and combat abilities. In addition to her training in espionage, adding to her stealth and 
tracking capabilities. Moreover, the Nth metal's wonders do not end here. It also plays a crucial role in regulating her body temperature, eliminating the need for heavy protective clothing at high altitudes. In contrast to that, the Nth metal can also radiate heat, providing warmth in frigid climates. It is worth noting that Hawkgirl's prolonged exposure to the Nth metal has revealed additional enhancements, such as limited hovering abilities, even without wearing the metal, which is honestly a mind-bogging aspect in her physiology, almost making her somewhat mystical from the lingering aspects of the Ninth Metal. Can Hawkgirl remove her mask? To answer the question in short, Hawkgirl can easily reveal her mask as witnessed in Season 2 of the Justice League animated series in the Wild Cards episode. During a critical moment in the animated series Justice League, Hawkgirl and fellow League member Jon Stewart, known as the Green Lantern, share a significant and emotional experience. When faced with a bomb threat from the Joker in Las Vegas, Jon selflessly saves Hawkgirl, sacrificing himself in the explosion. Although his power rings protective or shields him from harm. The shock momentarily stops his heart. Hawk Girl, armed with her mace, takes action against Batman's orders and restarts John's heart, reviving him using the Nth Metal magical healing abilities. Following that, she ensures he receives proper medical treatment and agrees to stay with him overnight on the Watchtower to monitor his recovery. During their time together, Hawk Girl and John engage in a heartfelt conversation about their relationship, initially hesitant to pursue it further. Hawk Girl eventually warms up to the idea in a pivotal moment, Hawkgirl removes her mask, revealing her true face for the first time in the series. This act of vulnerability symbolizes a deeper connection between them. The episode concludes with a poignant kiss shared between Jon Stewart and Hawkgirl, signifying the gravity of their relationship. Later, she permanently removes her mask after the end of the first Justice League series. This action is a result of her conflicting loyalties towards Earth and the Thanagarians leading Hawkgirl to discard her superhero alias and fight without her mask as Shiera Hall, opting for a plain white t-shirt as her attire. Does she have any weaknesses? Hawk Girl's weakness is directly tied to the curse of reincarnation that plagues her existence. Due to the curse, she is compelled to continuously roam the Earth until she reunites with her eternal soulmate. However, the tragic aspect of this curse is that whenever Hawk Girl and her soulmate form a profound bond, they are fated to be murdered, starting the cycle anew. This curse of reincarnation imposes emotional and psychological burdens on Hawk Girl. The constant cycle of life, death, and rebirth birth not only brings forth pain of losing loved ones repeatedly, but also creates an inherent vulnerability to emotional attachments. Hawkgirl must constantly grapple with the fear and uncertainty of losing those she cares about, as well as the burden of her own immortality. Furthermore, her constant rebirth bestows her with flashes of deja vu from her past lives that can prove to be an emotionally overwhelming shortcoming. While they offer her glimpses into her rich history and knowledge, these episodes of the same thing happening in front of her again again in the form of a canon event can be disorienting and distracting, especially during intense battles. The sudden recollections of past events may momentarily affect her focus and concentration, making her susceptible to attacks or strategic disadvantages. It's sad that the DC Universe keeps toying with Hawkgirl's character time and time again to fuel the plots for more prominent superheroes in the Justice League crew, leaving numerous loopholes and unanswered questions lingering about this magnificent character. Hawk Girl is easily one of the strongest and, in fact, one of the longest serving members in the Justice League. Her entire character design is absolutely unique, especially when not completely being tethered to Hawkman's character arc. Here's to hoping we see more of this marvelously underrated character, and until then, please don't forget to tell us about your thoughts on this strong female superhero in the comments below.